Hi Cancer, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance and this is your mid-month reading for June 2018. Now, just remember it is a general reading so take from it what you will, leave the rest. If you want a personal reading with me where you get to answer the questions you so burningly want to ask with the tarot and oracle as well as the, me as a transformational coach, yeah. Um, I'll put the link on this video and in the description box below. And also, if you want to win a free reading with me, a 30-minute personal reading, there is a competition on my website. All you need to do is opt into the blog, which is free. Yeah, uh, You get some more great content from me. And uh, you get the going to the monthly draw to uh, win a personal reading with me. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing something different for you for the uh, mid-month. I'm going to be doing a nine-card spread on the uh, past, present and future, everything you need to know, including challenges that you might be facing, as well as your general energies. And uh, beautifully, I got a new deck today, which I'm super excited about. I am recording on the 13th of June, which is the uh, new moon, so even more potency. Yeah, It is... Uh, it's a deck that's all about much higher spirituality and connection to the divine, yeah, in terms of guidance. And uh, it is the light work oracle deck um, by Alana Fairchild, who's one of my favorite uh, created tarot. And uh, it's going to bring you some special guidance, yeah. All right. Now, I am working with some crystals, so um, I did also, I had to, uh, I had to, by jade today because I lost my jade one often I'll pop it into a pocket or something and I've been looking for it for a couple of weeks I'm like oh my god I so need my jade because jade is all about good luck yeah so I got this one today it's kind of kind of perfect yeah uh, and we're also working with amethyst I've got two in the room for protection because I just feel we need extra protection at this time yeah so hematite as well as black tourmaline we're also working with moonstone um, all about cycles and rhythms yin your yang your chi energy and citrine for success as well as clear quartz to amp everything up yeah all right let's get started with your reading and i'm going to be using the angel tarot to do your nine card spread now let's see what comes up for you cancer okay this one i want to come out straight away so this is the situation yeah came out for one other sign as well the queen of water so there's a beautiful angel here in the middle. If you see this, if I bring it closely, you can see that there's dolphins and killer whales in front of it, um, in front of her. And it's basically saying that relationships are going to deepen to a new level, yeah? Trust your intuition in anything you're facing. Take care of yourself and others. Be more patient, loving, and kind, yeah? That includes that with yourself. All right, what else do you need to know, um, Cancer? Oh, I nearly said Aries. Are you connecting with the Aries? Oh, let me know. That was a slip of the tongue, wasn't it? Maybe uh, if you're in a relationship with an Aries, that will be interesting to know. Pop it in the comments box below if you are. Okay. In terms of what the challenges are that are coming up for you, uh, you've pulled the six of water, which is basically saying that memories are surfacing from the past. Yeah, it could be childhood issues, uh, also romanticizing the past. If you have a look at here, there's ch actually a child. There's a few children in the water here, as well as um, as well as the adult. So it's stuff from the past, yeah, coming up, um, and lots of cups, lots of cups. All right. Okay, this one so wanted to come out for you. So this is the basis of the situation. Wow, these are all water cards, all of them, yeah? You pull the ace of water as well, falling in love, resurgence of your relationship. So if you've been going through challenges in your current relationship, just know they're going to even out, yeah? Can also mean moving to a new home. Um, there's, a couple of, there's a couple of star signs that also got this, yeah? I'm thinking Pisces might be one of them. Um, I'm on Pisces, by the way. Yeah, enhanced intuition. So trust what's coming to you in terms of your own inner wisdom and guidance. Yeah. All right. The next one we're going to pull is about the recent past. Hmm. Okay. We pulled the eight of air, an illusion of being trapped. Yeah. Um, a lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. So basically feeling stuck. Yeah. Procrastinating, feeling stuck, holding yourself back. Um, Fears that are not got a lot of substance to them. We'll see what else comes out to you, out for you. All right, the next one I'm going to pull is for the uh, present. Yeah. What does Cancer need to know? Here we go. 
Okay, pull the tool fire. You're coming into your own. New partnerships might possibly be coming in. Um, continue to work forward, um, move forward. Um, yeah, lots of positivity coming your way. New contracts coming in if you're looking for new career contracts, yeah. And what's coming in the uh, near future? This has come out for a few signs, I've got to say, and I have so shuffled this deck. It came out from the middle of the deck, yeah. The inflow of abundance, ace of earth. Um, again, documents or contracts coming in, promising new business venture. If you're in business, you might have a new business partner coming in. Um, capital, maybe capital coming in to invest in your, in your projects and your ideas. Uh, new career opportunities. Beautiful. All right, let's have a look at your energy in the situation, your influence. What do you need to know, Cancer? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So for you, it's the eight of water. You've got a lot of water in your in your in your reading. I have to say, um, a desire to move on and do something more meaningful. If you have a look at this card, um, the angel in this has got her back to all the cups. Yeah. Uh, they're no longer satisfying. There's a desire to move on, not fulfilled, yeah. The desire to do something much more meaningful. It also means more emotional and spiritual growth happening. And in terms of uh, the energy of the people around you, you pull the justice card, a Archangel Raguel. So if you've been going through any legal challenges, I'm going to say to you, divorce, um, conflict, any type of issue, just know that the divine's been watching. They, it sees and hears and knows all, yeah? Um, it's got your back. It's going to be handled in a fair and just manner, yeah? Stand up for yourself. Do what you know is right, yeah? Yeah. If you haven't done that in the past, you need to have the courage to do that now. All right, let's see what your hopes and fears are, Cancer. What do you need to know? What's coming up for you in terms of that? Okay. So what you're fearing in terms of these new opportunities coming in is that you're going to make an unwise choice, yeah? Or that you've made unwise choices in the past and you're afraid of doing it again, yeah? So it is important to just make sure that when you're when opportunities are coming up, that they're coming to you for the right reasons, that there's not stuff going on behind your back, be aware of everybody's motives, make sure that you're looking after your own best interests, yeah? Okay. And the outcome. Okay. Is the four of earth. Um, if you have a look at this, there's two meanings to this one. It's about being too frivolous with money or and too cautious or not um, not spending enough really um, being way like it's saying being too cautious or being too frivolous one or the other yeah you might be swinging from one to the other it's about making good business decisions um, it can also mean about giving to charity if you're somebody that's quite fortunate um, yeah interesting not gonna apply to everybody okay now I'm going to pull you some guidance around your general energies, things you need to know. And uh, I'm going to use the uh, Goddess Guidance deck first. It's one of my favourites, yeah? And uh, let's see what you need to know, Cancer. I've got two that want to come out for you. Okay, first one wants to come out for you. For those of you looking for love, you've got Guinevere, true love coming. Um... Somebody new has stirred up your romantic feeling. The universe is trying to deliver a great love to you. If you've been manifesting, they're trying to bring it to you, yeah? No other sign has pulled the true, this one. Um, there's one other sign that pulled the soulmate card um, from the crystal reading deck, but not this one has come out. No, not for mid-month, so um, kind of special. Be open to love, or if you've met somebody new, and you're wondering, or if you're in a partnership with somebody, trust your own heart and your own gut instincts, yes, to whether or not they're your soulmate. You'll know, you'll know. 
You've also pulled solace, bodies of water. So it's going to be important for you to balance and ground yourself, to de-stress, to get out in nature, Mother Earth, if you can, next to bodies of water, because it's going to light you up, rejuvenate you, refresh you, yeah? Watch your energy levels in the next two weeks. Watch your emotions that you're not becoming emotionally overwhelmed. All right, Cancer, what else do you need to know? Or if you've been cooped up and you've just been focusing on your career, get outside. Yeah, do something for your body and your mind and your spirit. Okay, second, second message, past life memories coming up. It'll be interesting to see what the crystal reading deck brings up as well because that's a healing, a healing oracle. Um, we'll see what comes up for you, yeah. When past life stuff comes up or past memories come up, it's about recognising that they're coming up, using mindfulness practices to um, either deal with it so that you can let it go or just acknowledge it and let the feeling pass or the memory pass and move on because it's in the past, it's not the present, yeah? Um, I think I mentioned this in one of my other videos. If you're cross-watching readings... I literally got triggered today and this is what happens because I'm a transformational coach if you don't know yeah got my own mind body soul balance program which is all all about mindfulness practices and healing and emotional healing and all that kind of stuff yeah uh, one of the key parts on that is about um, being very mindful of your emotions and things and thought patterns coming up for you and I got triggered today by literally driving past a place and um, it triggered a memory or an instance or a situation that I was in in the past in a, in a relationship. And um, and it suddenly just propelled me into old um, memories of that instance of what happened. And I was like, it, kept, it continued for about five minutes. I was driving at the time. I'm going like, well, this is really odd. Why has this come up? And then I went, oh, that's right. I forgot that was the first thing that triggered me was the place I saw as I drove past it, yeah. Um, and I went, I was just like in my head going, let's not do this. It was so, I'm so over this. Oh, it's just a memory and I'll let it go. And that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. Yeah, recognize it. Let it go. Bring yourself back to the present moment, yeah. Because it can't affect you anymore unless you let it. All right. What else do you need to know, Cancer? Let's pull you a couple more cards from this deck. Clear message, please. Okay. Oh, yeah. Second confirmation of abundance. Prosperity is coming, yeah. Not only is the universe trying to pour love onto you, the universe is trying to pour abundance onto you. Be open to receiving it. Yeah, make sure that you're in a positive mindset and you're doing your abundance Um practices because now I'm super excited for you oh my god right next to that mother Mary expect a miracle have faith and trust your prayers have been heard and they're going to be answered the universe has been listening yeah oh my god beautiful right next to abundance um gotta say you might want to go and buy a little lotto ticket <laughs> dare I give you that advice okay did I say that out loud I did oh my god oh okay I'm gonna bring you some guidance from the crystal reading deck hmm okay under true love you pulled sexuality crokite so just make sure in terms of your in terms of your love life that love life that your sexuality is not tripping you up so how can this happen a couple of ways having weak boundaries so I'm going to say putting it out there before you're actually ready and, and, and just folding in terms of your sexuality because somebody's putting pressure onto you. That never turns out well, right? It doesn't. I'll say why. Because you're not connected as bond. You're intimate before you've connected to a bond and also before you've gained commitment from someone. Yeah. Um, and uh, I have to say to you, if you're engaging in that often when the chase is over, the chase is over. Yeah, done and dusted. The other side of this is you might need to do some healing around your sexuality. You might be too uptight about your sexuality. It might be preventing you from wanting to get into a relationship because you're protecting yourself, yeah? Two ways of reading that. Can also be mean being a bit more passionate, yeah? Not going to apply to everyone, that message, but the fact that it's sitting under true love, it can be something that's tripping you up, yeah? All right. 
always be discerning about who you give your love to, yeah, because you're worthy of a great love. Okay, you pulled Ruby. Shine. It's your time to shine. It's your time to step into your power. Accept your talents, your beliefs, your abilities. Stand up for yourself, what you believe in, what, what uh, lights you up, your heart's desires. Just shine, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What else does Cancer need to know? Mm, holding on to the message. Oh, dare I say, there it is, flipping out. Mm. Okay. Under past life, Isis, petrified wood, ancestors. Stuff coming up from you from the past. Absolutely. Family stuff, childhood issue stuff, yeah. Um, if you didn't have a great part, you know, in terms of growing up. Um, I'm going to say examples, I'm going to say connections, attachments, parents, sibling stuff. Um, you need to let it go in order to shine, yeah, you don't need to hold on to that any longer. You've got so much good stuff happening for you, yeah. Might be time to clear it up, clean it up and clear it up, let go of it, yeah. Right next to that. You've got selenite, spiritual awakening. It's sitting under your abundance, yeah? So it's going to be important for you to balance not only your goals and dreams in terms of your career, your life path, life purpose, but to seek that balance out with your spirituality, your mind, body, soul, balance and spirit, yeah? Because you've got bodies of water as well. You've got some stuff to let go of, past life stuff to let go of, old memories to let go of, but it's sitting under your prosperity, so it's super important to tap into your spirituality so that um, you're balanced and grounded, yeah? When you do that, it affects all aspects of your life, yeah? It just ripples out. Makes everything better. You can cope with anything. Okay. Under Expect a Miracle and next to Spiritual Awakening, you got case tonight, new beginnings. Lots of new positive things coming your way, yeah? Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. Not only in love, but in abundance. Expect a miracle. Yeah, all right. Okay, I'm excited about you. I hope you are. All right, I'm going to bring you some guidance from the Nature's Whispers deck. And let's see what comes up for you, Cancer. Yeah. With true love, with great love, with your soulmate coming in, leap of faith, take a leap of faith is the uh, advice. Mm -hmm. Can also be to do with your career, life, path, life, purpose, take a leap of faith. Um, there's no safety net, absolutely not. You just could take that step out, yeah? Yeah. You never know what you're capable of until you put your feet out there. Into the unknown. Yeah. Okay. The other advice you've got is to celebrate differences. I'm going to say to you that your soulmate may differ from what you normally would date, except um, it's about not only if you're somebody that likes to be in control, it's about one, recognising that this is the message coming through, to allow people to express themselves and to actually listen and accept those differences. Don't make people like you. They're different, yeah? Your love partner is going to be different to you. They're going to have different values. They're going to have different belief systems. Um, it's about appreciating who they are, but also appreciating who you are. Yeah, that's the message coming through. It's sitting under shine. Yeah? Perhaps... If you want to shine, it's about being more open to other people, the differences, yeah? Might be the last piece of the puzzle to get you over the line. Okay, let me know if it resonates with you. And you've also, a few signs have pulled this one, in fact, three. Culmination of vision. So everything you've been working on to now is coming together for you, yeah? Yeah. You might even get be getting more clarity about what it is you want to do with your life. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's also sitting under all the past life stuff. So it might be that you're getting 
truths unearthed, things revealed that you hadn't thought about before in terms of how your past is affecting your present, yeah, so that you can clean them up and heal from them. Is the other message coming through. Okay. Apart from the fact that your reading has been off the charts amazing, <laughs> I'm going to bring you some special guidance now from this new deck that I mentioned, um, the Light Worker Oracle by Alana Fairchild. Let's see what you need to know. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Isn't this gorgeous? Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. Sitting under spiritual awakening and your abundance. All right, what else do you need to know, Cancer? I have to say the energy on your reading is just beautiful. It really is. Okay, what else does Cancer need to know? What is the overarching message, please? Here we go. Oh, wow. I'm super excited to read these for you. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at the chakra, the crown chakra opening up to the divine. Amazing. It says, uh, messages in the numbers. 11-11. Wow. Watch out for the number 11 recurring at the next two weeks because it's 11-11. Messages in the numbers. Wow. Sitting under expect a miracle and uh, new beginnings. All right, you, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> All right. Let me show you this to you one more time before I uh, read it for you. So gorgeous. Look at that. It's so beautiful. Wisdom of the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine Wisdom empowers you to grow into your vision, your dreams, and the fulfillment of your life purpose. Perhaps you have envisioned a very different life for yourself to what you are experiencing now. This wisdom reminds you that you can experience even the most extraordinary dreams as reality if you are willing to grow into what you desire to become what you seek. Surrender any plans about how you can best manifest your dreams and instead allow life to guide and nourish you through the experiences each day. The universe supports your divine destiny and is helping you become all that you are meant to be. When the wisdom of the divine feminine reaches for you, the message is clear. You're in the process of becoming more of heaven on earth. Sometimes there are growing pains alongside the joy such growth brings. You may feel concerned, thinking your pain is an indication that you are failing in some way. You may judge your suffering as a sign that you are not operating at a high enough frequency. Yet many spiritual masters upon this planet have endured great suffering, as well as experienced tremendous love and joy in the fulfillment of their divine destiny. Growing pains are just a part of the feminine path of creation, of breaking through what has become too small for you. There is joy in the eventual freedom, but the act of breaking through can feel painful at times. When things are difficult for you, or you are feeling doubt, when you feel the need to do something that scares you and challenges you at the depths of your being, you are experiencing growing pains. They will pass and you will benefit for the growth. However, you need to know that whilst the difficulty is in your life, the divine is very much with you encouraging you, believing in you so much that it will deliver a tough lesson. You can handle it for however long it needs to continue and that won't be forever. This oracle brings you a message about how much the divine feminine loves you and wants to help you grow with the least struggle and the most peace. If you don't listen to her, instead choosing to believe in fear, you may be terrified of your growing pains. You won't be sure if they will ever end. You may lose faith instead of trusting that life has your best interests at heart and you are capable of meeting any challenge that arises. Instead of trusting, you may believe that the world isn't safe. This can keep you paralysed in self-defeating, self-harming patterns. While these may give you a temporary familiar satisfaction, ultimately, these patterns mean you will continue to struggle and suffer 
under the weight of addiction or emotional pain. You deserve so much better than that. The Divine Feminine speaks to you now and promises that if you are willing to show up to your life each day and trust in the circumstances before you, she will guide you into the most beautiful divine destiny. It is safe to trust her. She wants you to only have the best, most beautiful life journey, one perfectly suited for all that you are and all that you can be. Your heart beats in perfect rhythm with the heart of love at the centre of the universe. Trust your heart and trust life. All is progressing beautifully as you are guided even deeper into your divine fulfilment. I don't know about you, but that got me in a heart space. Wow, that was beautiful. All right. There's an invocation here and what it says is, I call upon the wisdom of the divine feminine and I ask for the blessings of nurturing development, evolution and growth into the best and most beautiful divine destiny for me. Through her loving grace, I am guided, protected and assisted to become all that I am. With gratitude and trust in the flow of my life, I relax and take the journey. And as I do, I help to bring calm and consciousness to the world for the greater good. So be it. Wow. So amazing. All right. Let's have a look at this one. Messages in the numbers, yeah? I'm super intrigued. How about you? Wow, you got 10, and no, now you got 9 and 11. Okay, that means anything to you? I always think the 9 progresses into the 11, yeah? It's an advancement. Okay. And what it says, Cancer, is the universe is speaking to you through numbers. From 1111 on your phone to the repeating number patterns that catch your eye, information is being transmitted from the creative universal intelligence into your cellular awareness. You may feel energetic healing as you receive these transmissions of number frequencies. Numbers are energetic medicine. They are particular frequencies in a universal language of love that helps heal and guide you. There are no negative numbers. Healing vibrations of numbers are working for you and your soul now. Which numbers do you notice most often at this time? The frequency of one is about beginnings, taking the initiative, believing in yourself and accepting a leadership role in which you step ahead of the curve beyond the consciousness of those around you to guide the human race forward into love. The frequency of two brings healing around partnership and allows you to be helped by others, particularly in relationships, whether business or personal. The two indicates more can be gained by working with another. The frequency of three indicates a time to learn, write, teach or develop new ideas, collaborate with others and create win-win situations. It is an also a number stamp of the ascended masters, particularly multiples of threes, confirming their connection with you. The frequency of four brings angelic healing, divine order and an influx of energy into the physical plane. It is a get things done energy, which can help you materialize desires. More than four, more than one four in a row means the angels are speaking to you. So like 44, yeah. <laughs> If you got a little bit confused just then. Call upon their loving assistance to help you manifest your divine destiny. The frequency of five announces change and acceleration. An issue is resolving, transformation is happening through divine alchemy. If you see a five, let go. Allow what is happening to happen. Trust in the goodness behind all is unfolding in your life. The frequency of six is love, money, beauty, and abundance. Wow, well, I have to say six is my lucky number. Always shows up. Oh my, I'm kind of happy. <laughs> Many people are afraid of the six vibration, especially multiple sixes, which is some sign is a sign of the devil. There are no negative numbers, however. The six is a sign of material abundance and healing of prosperity, love, and romance. Oh, that makes me happy. Don't know about you. The frequency of seven indicates healing ability, channeling, channeling of spiritual wisdom. 
and the sage or teacher. It is a sign to accept what makes you unique and to balance your social life with restorative solitude. If you have asked about your life mission, the seven indicates it is, at least in part, self-healing and very likely the healing of others too. The frequency of eight asks you to step up into a leadership role that is not apart from others, but amongst them. Others may look to you as a role model or authority figure. Accept this with humility and remember to encourage others to find their own power. The frequency of nine is a spiritual en energy indicating blessings, compassion, and an ending of a cycle. It comes when resolution of unfinished business is taking place so a new cycle can begin. In due course, it indicates the Christ consciousness and can be a message from any master that resonates with that energy, reminding you to trust your heart and ask for love to bless and assist you. The frequency of zero is a divine wild card. It amplifies the energy of the other numbers and places the divine stamp behind it. Any significant number accompanied by a zero is a message direct from the universe. It is the divine saying, I am sharing something true and special with you. Take note for I am with you. Use the invocation below when you feel the numbers talking to you and you want to absorb the loving message. All right, I'm going to share that with you now. I'll also put it in the description box, yeah, so that you've got it. You can copy it and do it again if you want to, yeah. So the invocation says, I give thanks for the messages, energetic healing, support and encouragement given to me now and always through unconditional love. I give permission to unconditional love to heal my body, mind and soul through the healing frequency of the numbers. May all, be all beings feel the love and guiding intelligence of this supportive, nurturing universe through loving grace and my own free will. So be it. Wow. Gorgeous. Beautiful reading. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Don't forget, if you want a personal reading with me so you can ask the questions you so burningly want to ask about anything really, love and romance, finances, abundance, career, whatever it is, yeah, links on this video, you know what to do. Uh, also, if you want to win that personal reading with me, the 30 minute one, um, also going to pop this link up here. Just pop over to my website, opt into the monthly competition, uh, the blog, you'll get more great content from me. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.